Hi, this is Mr Evans. This video is going to look at how to amend network diagrams. So we are down here on this bullet point um, and we've looked at network analysis, we've gone through how to calculate a, uh, the critical path and we know that network management is an analysis tool used to break down a project into its component tasks. Now a typical question that you might get in an exam is that you might be given a completed um, network like this one but you're told okay um, instead of five weeks uh, activity H um, testing and designing the website okay that's going to take us a little bit longer that's going to take us 12 weeks you might be given some information like the project has a target completion date of 25 uh, weeks Okay, so how would that affect the? Uh, oh dear, my handwriting is everywhere. Uh, how would that affect the critical path? Okay, so we've been told that activity H is now going to take twelve weeks, and we've got to manipulate now the critical path to see what has happened. So um, activity C, which is what precedes activity H, takes six weeks. So six weeks is the earliest uh, start time. Um, 6 plus 12, that's going to alter the earliest start time for activity I because the activity is taking much longer than originally anticipated. So 6 plus 12 is 18. Uh, excuse me, that is an 18. Um, the, that will have an impact on uh, this task here because with the earliest start time was 18. Now we've got to wait until activity I gets done. We can't start activity I until uh, week 18. Activity I takes one week, so that's going to make this 19 plus 5 equals 24. Okay, so um, we know now that the activity should take place in 24 weeks. Um, well, that should allow us to meet our target of 25 weeks, is what we could say in an answer. However, there's going to be less slack. Um, if it was tw if we had 23 weeks to complete a 25-week project before, there was two weeks slack. Now there's only one week. Um, and let's work backwards and see what's happened to the critical path. So we start again at 24. The uh, latest finish time for uh, activities G and I uh, if we're going to finish on 24 weeks, uh, activity J takes uh, five weeks to do, so that's going to be 19. Um, but it looks like we've got a, uh, a new critical path, because when we take uh, 3 from 19 to work out when activity G must start by, that gives us a bit of slack here. Okay, we can start activity G on 16 weeks without delaying the project um, because we've got to wait for activity I to be completed. However, 19 uh, minus 1 is 18. Uh, activity H has to finish by week 18 to allow us to do activity I and complete the project on time. Uh, that um, 18 minus 12 to give us the latest uh, finish time for activity um, C. It's going to be six. Okay, and just to finish off the critical path, 16 minus four uh, is going to be 12. Uh, 16 minus five is 11. Okay, so we've got a new uh, critical path, which is where all the numbers are the same, 24, 24, nine, uh, 19, 18 along here. So the critical path is now C, uh, H, I, J. And uh, that's how you amend a network analysis diagram. Um, look at what it does to the critical path, look at what it does to the overall length of the project, and if you've got any information like a target for the completion date, then um, that information should be included in your answer.